Welcome. Welcome. I have no idea how this is going to go. Because I've never played an Ivalor before. Ever. History of me. Ewok Templar, by the way. I don't know if you noticed. Melver Idol. Atlas of Discovery expansion. Now, I never... Never played an Idler, so I don't know what to expect because I looked at Idlers and I was like, alright, so you just click on stuff and stare at it? But this one came to, like, apparently a lot of people like, liked it, you know what I mean? It's got high reviews, high star rating and it was free on the Epic Games Store, like, right before Christmas so I was like, you know what, alright we'll figure it out I just got done playing Last Minute Chopper so I'm gonna transfer a little inspiration we're gonna name our character Pussfack so let's do this. Puss fact. Let's go. Begin our journey. Loading local save. Ah, Tass. Survival Task 1. Woodcutting is a basic skill that provides logs to create various weaponry and items. It is possible to find a bird's nest while woodcutting that provides seeds for farming. Cut three normal trees. Alright. How do I do that? There's a lot of googly gawk on this screen. All right, normal tree. Uh, I have. I currently have a bronze axe. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> yep. There you go. You click on it. There's no music as well. Hold on. I gotta fix this. This is lame. What am I supposed to? <laughs> Does it not have music. Add items to this. Quick quit. That's what this is. I'm just chopping trees now. I just, I'm just getting XP for cho tree chopping. Look at that. Hey, we're cutting level two. Hey, we did it. We did it. Oh, we're so good. We're so good. Hold on. This is this is ridiculous. I need. I need something. Open this up. Go here. Hopefully. Um, look up some lo fi beats because I'm just wood cutting right now. This is it. This is the skill. This is the task. Um, what should I go with? I'm going with fantasy because that's, that's what it's based off of, right? Right, he's got a mix in. This one's study and chill. That's enchanted forest. Ah, I don't know. Hmm, this one. I mean, this one's hot. Got the most views, but is it the most liked? Ooh, Lord of the Rings. No, that'll get. That'll probably get claimed, wouldn't it? Unless they're edited. Oh well, I mean, yeah, it says hip hop beats from. Oh, but you got the Skyrim Lofi beats. We'll just go with that one. Why not? Oh, that's that's actually kind of pretty and cool. I want to show this one just because, like... I mean, look at this. Got this 8-bit screen going on. That's awesome. This one is Skyrim, but it's Lofi beats by Bits and Hits. Thank you, Bits and Hits. I'm going to go ahead and like that. Let's see how this goes. I'm still just wood cutting. I can claim my reward of 10 gold. Fire making provides bonuses to other skills of the game or at later stages of the game. I gotta get to fire making. Alright, go take me to fire making. Select your logs. Normal logs. I can get different logs. Burn. Light bonfire. 10 logs. Uh, bonfire status inactive. Fire making XP bonus when active. 10. How many logs do I have? I have 57 normal logs. I just go with regular burning for now. Cause like my wood cutting's still going, right? Hey, claim. I only do one thing at a time. Fishing. 
Wait, let's go down here. Do I have to grab all this stuff? Like, where does all this go? What if I need to cut more logs? Okay, it's here. It's just that easy. Hold on, we're about to hit a hallmark over here at the, with the wood cutting. Need two more logs. There we go. All right, fishing. Go. All right, what? It, okay, shallow shores. If I fish, crab no river. 80% fish, 20% junk. I like that. This needs to be the beginning area as well. That's that higher level stuff. Unlocked at level 60. Raw shrimp. Shrimp points. How do I go fishing idle? How do you go to fishing actively? Do I have to start here at the shallow shores and fish the shrimps up? This takes way longer. <laughs> this this is it. This is Ah, oh, so uh, head back to Toro Island to claim your rewards. I don't wanna go back to Toro Island. That doesn't make sense. How do I go back to Toro Island? Oh, it's way up there. Cooking! Okay, stop fishing. Toro Island. What, what did I learn at Toro Island? Okay. Did I already claim these? Claim, claim. Okay, I did. So I didn't. I didn't need to come back here at all. All I had to do is click on the click, click on the tutorial. All right, that was dumb. That was dumb. Basic, active cooking, passive cooking. What's the difference? Play recipe to cook. Uh, I have one beef. I have one raw beef somehow. What? Or one raw shrimp. You have five. Of cooking, so I can start cooking and not actually be here. I can actually leave and go to other stuff. Is that what that means? Can I... You need what you need to actively cook something to start passive cooking. I don't need to head back to Toronto, I can just claim it right there. Mining, I'm out of shrimp to cook. Hold on, select recipe. Select. I have the beef here. Need to actively cook something in order to passively cook. That doesn't make sense. You don't have the required. I don't have it? Oh, I just have the recipe of cooking beef. Okay. But now we need to go back to mine. Oh, we need to go to mining. <laughs> this is so weird. Will enjoy this? I don't understand. Um, I'm confused. Rune essence. Copper tin. Which is the one I need to get? Three copper and three tin. Alright, so we gotta... Can we do them both at the same time? No, we can't. We gotta get 83 of these. In order to feel good about ourselves. This is quite, this is quite the journey. I feel like I'm having a ballet right now. This kind of sucks if I have to do them all individually. There's no auto mining. I thought this whole point of idling is to just click and release. And you come back and you click on more things. This reminds me of Baldur's Gate 3, honestly. There's a bunch of clicking. Hope for the best. You just clickety click clack. Mining level two. Let's get some copper now then. Huh? We need that copper to complete this task over here. To get the monies. This might be the shortest playthrough video I ever make because like this is it. This is it. Smithing, let's go. Let's go. Make me a winner. Do I have to stop mining now? Can I just go to smithing now? Here we go. Just let it go. It's mining. It tells you over here you're still doing it, right? I come over here, yeah, it's still going. Can I only do one thing at a time? I need three bronze bars and a bronze dagger. Bronze bar. Go ahead. Create. Oh, 
Alright, I have enough bronze bars. Okay, so we can come over here, bronze gear. Bronze dagger. Create one. I'll make three, just in case. Yay, claim your reward. Bank. Weapons, armor, and food can be equipped from the bank. Give it a go so you're ready for battle. Um, do I just have the raw shrimps? Equip three shrimp and one bronze dagger. Equip them all. items to new tab am I literally supposed to only equip three oh this is weird so I have to go over here and go boop and then them all, I don't count. Do the bronze daggers again. Bronze, two daggers start. Two bronze, one bronze daggers already put Two bronze daggers. Okay, so I have two now, right? I claim. Combat! Offline combat is not enabled on this character. Please enable if you wish this feature to miss. Uh, enable. That's weird. What? Combat can be dangerous if not careful. This is the above a default to enable it. Please agree to all the below important point. I understand it's possible to die while offline. It's possible to lose equipment items in the progress. Okay, I understand that as my own subject to have prepared for all combat scenarios that occur offline. Jesus Christ! I understand the game will not notify me if I die while offline until I actually load into my character. Okay. I understand that dying offline with a hardcore character was built to the loss of my hardcore character. I understand that enable and disable offline combat from the settings page. Oh god. Oh lord, that takes a lot. Okay, um, you have to go to slaying one of the many unique monsters you can locate in Melvor. Kill two plants. I don't... <laughs> Loot all. Alright, uh, browse combat arena. Does the farmlands have <laughs> plants? And go to the graveyard. Hey, I can fight plants. They have. I can also fight chickens. Alright, let's fight. Miss. I missed the plant. The plant hit me. Oh no, that's the plant's health. This is my health, right? Okay. I missed the plant. The plant can attack, but it also misses. Hey, all right, claim. Go back to mining. I'm gonna let that go. It's doing its thing. Go back here to mining. We need a bow. We're gonna get different combat styles, bro. All right, mine some copper. Let's do this. Does combat just start? Stop? Okay, it does. You can only do one thing at a time. All right. You do any more? Hold on, let me even that out. Why does it go up? Like, like two, three, two. Like, do I ever fill that out? Okay. Is it getting depleted? Is that what's telling me? Okay, it came back. No, I want more. Give me all the tin I can mine. Bronze pickaxe. I have, to, um, I have to get a better pickaxe as well. We're leveling up the mining. Leave <laughs> me alone. Can't you see a man? Can't you see a Minecrafting over here? Sorry, stop mining. I can't. Uh, let's just claim the reward now. Smithing. Hey, what do we need? Uh, two bronze bars and 30 bronze arrow tips. Bars. Bronze bars. Give me bread. How many ever money I can make? I'm just gonna make a bunch of these. I think it'd be better if I had like a little animation or something. A little guy, me, you know what I mean? 
had this other idler on Steam that was free that also has like high, like critically claimed because like it's like apparently has a lot of humor. I forgot what it's called. But maybe we'll check that out at some point. Maybe that'll be next. Me, I don't. Ooh, I'm out of the raw materials. That's fine. Bronze throwing knives. Oh snap! Amazing. Um, wants me to make thirty of for every like resource produces. So it just takes one need to make fifteen. So literally, boom, and boom, and it's done. I'm gonna make a few more though. We'll make sixty. There you go. I have sixty of flame. You know what? And so before we even buy feathers. Not a bronze throwing knife. I'm gonna make some of these. One. Yeah. Go ahead. Just in case. I want them. Yeah, I got eight throwing knives now. Alright, so we need to go to the shop. We need to buy feathers. We're making. Ooh, I got a lot of money. Buy 30 feathers. Where do I go? Uh, you know, go to press create arrows, feathers, or creating device on the shop before we bought. Alright. Um. Materials and items, right? Feathers. Buy one feather. Buy. I need to buy 29 of them though. Do I have to buy them one at a time? Is there a way to change the amount? Okay. There is over here for some reason. Buy 10. Okay. Let's speed things up. Bye. Bye. Go back to the ones. I can enter a custom amount too, but you can just do this. Oh, you got it. It just cancels it. You got to hit here. This is annoying. <laughs> you think? Uh, I think the once you click on it, you should be able to edit the buying amount right here. That might be easier. I think. This is fine, I like this, especially if you have to buy a lot of stuff, you should change the amount and go, ah. That's good for a universal one, but I also would like one right here. Also, if there was a way to like speed this up to where like, I don't know. If there was a button to buy without being asked if it's okay to buy, that'd be nice. Plane, clutching. Oh man, we're getting in depth now. We're doing everything. There's no one out there who can do this for us. We need arrow shafts, headless arrows, and then bronze arrows. We need 30 arrow shafts. Arrow shafts. Take one log to make 15. Alright, so we just need two logs for that. We got plenty of logs. Boom. Done. No, headless arrows. Headless arrows are gonna take the feather and yeah, obviously. Takes the feathers and the arrow shafts. Go create. Boom. Boom. Do I have any more? And now bronze arrows. We need the arrowheads and the headless arrows. Here we go. We got plenty of arrowheads. Look at this. There you go. Done. Task complete. Flame. Chop. Buy a bowstring. I can't make one. I can hunt down like a small marsupial of some kind and take the intestines and then dry it on a fletching, on a drying rack. <laughs> Clean it out and dry it and then make it, make a string out of it, you know? All right, hey. Who am I to argue? Slayer coins, that's different materials. A bowstring, I just need one, yeah. Hey, you get 30 bucks for buying it. Fletching, go back. Back, dum-dum. Go back and figure it out. A normal bow, short bow, normal short bow. So short bows, normal short bow. It needs a log. Make one. That's fine. Normal short bow. Normal short bow, un you unequipped. Unequipable is what that you means, I think. What if that's about chance to preserve recipe resources kept at 80%? to double items kept at 100%. All right. Both are, they're both at zero. But anyhow, yeah, it's fine. Go ahead and create. Got one bow string, one bow. Boom. We have a bow. 
No, go back to the bank. Well, it's time to equip the items. <laughs> this is weird. How many powers that in? Throwing knives, I'm gonna equip those two, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Click here, equip weapon, here, look, equip quiver, here, click. Oh, this counts as a quiver. Oh, I can't equip throwing those at the same time as the bow and arrow. Oh. Alright, well, they're equipped now. Wait, um, kill two chickens using rain. Hey, look at this. Look at us, huh? Look at us. We're just a couple of guys, the farmlands, there should be chickens there, there they are. Fight the chickens. Gotta kill these two. Oh, they're good. Now oh, they can attack fast, too. I got one chicken. Just need to kill one more chicken, so I gotta load in, though. Did you actually see the arrows hit him? <laughs> he just hangs out here. Look at all these stats, look at all these numbers. My evasion is pretty high already. Well, his evasion's pretty good, except for against melee. Why am I using range on the chicken? Is there a way to just end combat? Well, like... Do it all. Uh, it just keeps on fighting. There's no just stop fighting them or go home button. <laughs> Very interesting. Go back to my gotta get rune essence. Rune essence, you know what? I'm gonna leave this here. I think it's self explanatory how this game works. Well, <laughs> it's just you click on things and things happen. I don't even know why. I don't know what I expected. I knew this world was gonna be. I've seen other people play idlers and people are like, oh my god, look. Then again, they live stream though. Maybe that's the key. <laughs> Not to just record it and have a man just stare at his screen going like this. Going, Claim that mine. Yeah, I got that rune essence. You know, just keep on getting rune essence. That'll be a good way. I like rune essences. We're gonna keep on collecting them. You get the air rune and the mine rune. Obviously, magic's gonna come into play, but I imagine that's gonna be very similar to just clicking on it, waiting for a bar to fill up. But I can see how. Actually, I can't see how. I'm not gonna lie. This is. Why, why am I doing this? That's one of the first thing that comes to mind after just a few minutes of doing this. I'm like, but why though? So that was Melver Idol, a game that was loved by many and how they acclaimed and said, don't miss out. I remember, I remember reading that on like a Facebook ad. They were like, don't miss out on this game being free on the Epic Game Store. And I was like, Melver Idol. And I was like, oh man, this one's so good. And I'm like, I've, never, I've seen people play Idol games before. I watched, I watched the entire thing and I was like, all right, this... This is weird. Interesting style of game where you just, just sort of chill out and let thing let the numbers go up. I guess this this has to feed some type of OCD, right? Because it's like something is always happening and being accomplished. Although it's not enough for me, to be honest with you. It's not enough, like if that's the case, I'd rather play like Minecraft or Satisfactory to get that like flowing and production like tingle is the best way I could describe it. But I mean, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's definitely not active enough for me and my taste, but I mean, it's an idle game. So what did I expect? This is what I expected and this is what I got. I, I'm not, I'm neither impressed or disappointed to be honest with you, but we'll, we'll try that other one out. We'll try this, that other one out as well. I forgot what it's called, but we'll try it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave this one right here. Me mining these rune essences. That's the real action, that's the real bread and butter right there. So hopefully you all enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that like button both hands if you have to. I am Ewok Temple and I will see you all in the next game. Y'all take it easy.